<laughs> okay, sorry, part two. Yeah, say, say that again. I, I, I said this might be three parts. Yeah, more than likely. We're uh, we're three people in, and I've got a list of how many? Four. I don't know. It's a, it's a long list. Although, to be fair, a lot of them we will be able to just pick. I don't know who that is. Yeah, <laughs> screw them. <laughs> okay, whatever. on to the next one was Nine Votes, uh, who was actually leading early on, well, was chasing Michael Bay early on, and then got beat out by Quentin T- uh, Tarantino and uh, Carnahan, was Sam Raimi. Uh, I actually really like this pick because yeah. he can do action and he can do comedy. And fucking and, Evil Dead movies are awesome. Yeah, and they're very like Deadpool type comedy. Exactly, and, and you know what? It, uh, years ago, when I was well, yeah, a few years back at this point, I remember reading through uh, the letters pages at the end of the Deadpool book, and actually someone uh, recommended, oh fucking what's his name, the King of the Chen. Oh, Bruce Campbell. Bruce Campbell to play Deadpool, and I was like, oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah, it would I, be. He would be the perfect Deadpool. Maybe, well, I don't yeah. know. Ryan Reynolds is a good pick. Yeah, yeah. And he, he's a little too old and fat now. Well, now. Yeah, yeah but yeah, he would have been awesome to play day. Deadpool. Yeah. You know what? He, he'd probably make a good weasel if, if they decide not to choose me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do hope that they do that. Yeah. Oh, Bruce Campbell would be awesome. So, yeah, Sam Raimi would be pretty good. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sam Raimi, I think, would be a good choice. Yeah, and he, everyone was saying he did real good with the Spider-Man, so I was like, yeah, he'd just be fun to do, because like everyone says, he can do action, and he can do the comedy. Yeah, oh, totally. All right. So next we have Mark, bastardized his last name, Neville Dine, and Brian Taylor, the guys who did the Crank films. They had seven votes. Which, uh, I, I don't know, again, like like not having known like other stuff they've done, if they have done anything else, mm-hmm. uh, Crank is a different kind of action that I think would be necessary for a Deadpool movie. I guess he did. Uh, they did the gamer film that they're that are yeah, coming which, out here in a few days, which I've not seen yet. Well, okay, yeah, it's not out. Okay. Yeah, yeah I think it's not out. All, all I know is they didn't do any screenings for it, and a lot of the critics are laughing, pointing fingers, going, "Oh, this is gonna suck because they wouldn't let us screen it." That's 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 two movies in one year. That's pretty impressive. Crank two and this. Yeah. Hey, have you seen any of the Crank movies? I saw the first one. Was it any good? I, it was okay. It was. Yeah, I, it, I, I haven't seen them, and and I really like Jason Stratham. Like he he has. You know, him among a few other people would have my vote to play a Taskmaster if they put him in the Deadpool movie. It, it's really interesting because I, I actually I uh, I suggest him for Bullseye. For Bullseye, oh, he would make a good Bullseye if they ever had to recast. Yeah. But if they ever did just recast. Yeah, which I, I might be happening because Fox hasn't made a Daredevil in a while, so I think Marvel might have the right soon. Well, they, they've been talking about rebooting it. Last which, I heard. I if it, yeah I I actually talked about this on my on the one thing with my friend we were talking. That's about right. It. Yeah. And that's another one I'd hate to see a, re- a reboot of. Maybe just re-release the director's cut in theater. That would be awesome. With a big apology. Sorry we put out the first crap. Here's the good version. Yeah, it was it was an accident. Yeah. <laughs> J- just with, like, a written apology to uh, Ben Affleck. <laughs> We're so yeah. sorry, Ben. <laughs> you tried to make a comic book movie, and we just made it crap. <laughs> and it was good. Yeah, exactly. So, I, I don't know. These guys would be Cool, I guess. I haven't seen their work. I hear they've got a an, an interesting style of comedy going. Just yeah, yeah, they they do. It's a very, it's kind of a spastic style mm. uh, with the way the camera moves, and it, it it is a very, it's a really over the top kind of comedy. That I think maybe if they could do a little bit more over the top with the action, mm-hmm. uh, I I do think that they could probably pull it off. But again, a Deadpool is kind of a character you really have to like him. Yeah, and I I, I don't know if they're comic book fans or not. Yeah, that, that, that's another important. I, actually, that was probably the the number four request was whoever it is, they have to be a fan of Deadpool. Or or, or, or even even if they're not necessarily like a fan of the character to begin with, mm-hmm. like uh, who, who who did the first two Spider Mans? Uh, Sam. I'm, I'm not. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get crucified to this, but I don't, I don't remember off the top of my head. Oh, the actor. Uh, no, 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 no. Who who did the? Not Spider Man. Uh, who did the first two X Men? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm like, I was like talking? Sam Raimi. Yeah, yeah, uh, no. Brian, Brian Singer. Yeah, Brian Singer, because he wasn't a fan of the X Men comics, and he got the film and he read a bunch of them. And he you know, came to like them. If that mm. happens, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. It's got it, it at least has to be someone who likes Deadpool. They they don't have to start out like it, but at least come to get it. I, I don't know. I would like to see an actual fan of uh, of comics yeah. do it at least. All right, uh, let's move on to the next one. Zack Snyder. I'm <laughs> completely against this choice. That, that's the guy who did 300, right? Yeah, he did 300 and he did Watchmen. He did 300 and Watchmen. Okay, so... Here's, 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 here's my thing. Um, I don't know if he can actually direct or not. Uh, <laughs> because uh, uh, the, if you ever listen to the commentary for 300, it's hysterical. 
because it's pretty much what uh, me and a lot of other people said. It, it's the comic book. And if you listen to yeah. the commentary, everything he says, like, oh, we, we took this scene directly from the comic book, and this looks just like the comic book. And unless yeah. he's straight up doing a, a Deadpool story, I don't know if this guy can do it or not. Yeah, yeah. Because Watchmen was just like the comic book, too. It's everything is just like literally he just like took yeah. a panel he put on screen. So so he may be the perfect pitch for people who wanted to be exactly truthful and faithful to Deadpool because he he has no creativity so he'll just do that. I don't know if he has no creativity. I've never seen him do anything on his own. Oh okay. <laughs> uh, but 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 if if they were to just straight up do one Deadpool storyline, mm-hmm. uh, he he would probably be your guy. Okay, cool. I, again, with directors, I I have little opinion of oh yeah we could just have a monkey do it you, you, you just point over there and say action do a couple uh over over two shots and then if you're if you're joss whedon you do a big oneer guaranteed yeah. you have to do at least a oneer all right next one how do i say his name again uh david s goyer david s goyer all right he's actually my pick he's my number one pick for it uh, i i'm i'm for him as a writer i'm not for him as a director yeah, oh, to- yeah, totally would be behind him as the writer. Director I'd be for him. So far, he's directed Blade 3. He wrote all three of the Blade movies. He's a huge uh, comic book fan. My number one reason for picking him is he was actually one of the first guys to say, hey, let's make a Deadpool movie. Like, right after Blade 3 came out, he was the guy saying, let's make a Deadpool movie. I've got the perfect guy, Ryan Reynolds. Like, he was the first guy to suggest Ryan Reynolds. He was the first guy wanting to do a Deadpool movie. So part of me wants to pull for him just because I know. That's because he kind of already cast him as, as Deadpool. Exactly. In his own film. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so that's my big reason for pulling for him is mainly because he deserves it. He's the first guy. I, to- I, I, t- I totally pull for him as writer. I, all I've seen him direct is Blade 3, and on a directorial standpoint, I don't think that was very good. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I'd even go as far to say as, except for Ryan Reynolds, that's not a good film at all. I, did, I, I like Blade 3. I thought it was okay. I, I, until I heard started a lot of the stuff afterwards about you know, Wesley Snipes complaining too much about it, saying, you know, they should have done this, they should have let me do that. Because I guess the the way Wesley Snipes make it sounds like is he had a lot to do with the first two Blade movies, being as yeah. awesome as they were, like even no, the stuff behind the scene. He was a producer on the first two? Yeah, he's a producer on all three of them. All three of them. Okay. Yeah, like he was claiming racism on uh, on the last one. Wow, this is going to wind up being a three part. Yeah. One. Yes, you guys have to listen to all three. <laughs> and he's got close comments on all of them. Yeah, yeah, except for the last one. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, he he's got my pick. Um, if he sucks at uh, directing, oh well. He, he, <laughs> I think out of fairness and because I have little understanding of directing, he's got my pick. All right. Next we have Robert Rodriguez. Who I'd be totally for. I mean, mm-hmm. the dude already clearly showed he can do comic book films with Sin City. Mm-hmm. Um, and yes. uh, and unlike Zack Snyder, who you know, because Sin City was kind of like just cut and paste, like the Zack Snyder movies. Yeah. Uh, he's also done stuff that I've seen him like on his own, just doing crap. Oh yeah, like, he did uh, El Mariachi and all those Desperado other ones, right? and, you know, which are kind of like Mexican Deadpool films. Yeah, yeah, and of course he he's also done the Spy Kid movies. Yeah. Then knock knock. Ding. <laughs> but, you know, Shark Boy Lava Girl, his big yeah. epic masterpiece. <laughs> there you go. And, and of course, that, that begs the, the question: if, if they do Robert Rodriguez, who are they going to be able to uh, to cast? Uh, Antonio Banderas is playing. Uh, pro- probably Weasel. Probably yeah, probably Weasel. Like we need an ugly guy. <laughs> oh, and there is. I put him in all my movies. And of course, he's got that cousin, like the the big angry cholo, who's always in all of his movies. Yeah. Well, I, did you see Plant Terror? No, I haven't. Okay, well, in Planet Terror, he has these two nieces that are, like, really hot. Oh, really? He, he just put in the film, and literally, I guess they're playing themselves. <laughs> just just, just watching that film, they, I, I don't know who they'd play, but they'd be perfect in a Deadpool movie. Oh, awesome. <laughs> I'm going to have to go they're watch just that just out. really insane. Yeah. Right now, all kinds of guys are going to uh, uh, Google Robert Rodriguez's hot nieces. I don't think you're going to find my Google, because their names won't be there. <laughs> you, you, have to, you have to go buy Planet Terror, look through the credits... Not the opening credits, because because if you look at the opening credits, it just says uh, "insane, crazy babysitter bitches." Oh, I'm not, oh I'm I've seen that good. part. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, nine minutes in through seven people. John Favreau. Uh, he's already on Iron Man. Yeah. I, I, think... I, I think he'd do it, but he's already on Iron Man. I don't know if he would do it. I, he, he seems. He seems no, like. No, no, I, 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 I think he could do it. I. But he's already on Iron Man, and I don't know if he'd want to do it or. Yeah. I, 
<laughs> Other people on Skype right now, leave me alone. I'm recording. <laughs> Dude, I'm getting. Say what? I said, don't you see the do not disturb sign? Yes, I have a do not disturb sign. Oh, it's Brandon. Oh, he just put out a new video. I'll, I'll put a link up right now. It's pretty funny. I'm doing voices in it. I oh, do my Tom Brokoff impression. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, on Favreau, I, I don't know. I don't know the guy I personally. Like, I, don't, I don't necessarily have a problem with him. I just don't see him as Deadpool. Directly. Yeah, and, and I don't see him as the type of guy who would do Deadpool. He'd be like, no, no, I need something cooler with a bigger budget and bigger name actors. Yeah. I don't know. He, he seems like a pretty cool guy, but eh, who knows? I don't know. Okay, uh, next one, Kevin Smith. I love Kevin Smith. Yeah. Um, he's openly said he does not like enjoy he, – he does not enjoy right, or, uh, directing action. Yeah. And so that I'm, I'm going to go with a no. Yeah, same here. I love Kevin Smith. Don't don't think he would – don't know if he could handle even doing the action. Next one. You're absolutely – Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. We, we should switch it. We should right now. Okay. 